This is the brand new Kia Sorento. It's a large seven seat SUV and it costs about $3,000 more than the old Sorento, but you do get more stuff. I test drove the Sorento Sport Plus, which is second from the top of a range of four. And this one is the all wheel drive diesel version. It costs around $56,000 before on-road costs and it competes with cars like Mazda CX-9, the Hyundai Santa Fe and the Toyota Kluger. Here's how it did over seven days for this week's family review. For a more detailed review, head to the Cars Guide website and if you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe. The exterior has had a total makeover and the car is suddenly now cool. It's less beefy than the previous model, it's more sleek and more modern. There's still that signature Kia grille at the front, but there's less of it. I think the changes are subtle but great. Inside gets a new look too, and in this model you'll get leather seats and a leather steering wheel that both feel premium, plus other finishes that take the interiors to a whole other level. The standouts are the super wide multimedia screen and also these very large door handles that are so unnecessary but look fantastic. The other thing that has been given a makeover is the center console, which used to have loads of buttons on it and it used to be very messy and now it's not. Everything has been simplified down so it's also much easier to use. There are two cup holders in the front and you also get a bunch of other storage in this center console area that's really handy like this spot for your phone. There are three USB ports in there. You'll get a really large center storage bin, another spot here that works great for your phone as well and a little spot for your keys. Plus there are bottle holders in each door. And gosh, the space in here is amazing. There is loads of leg and headroom, heaps of space in between the passenger seat and the driver's seat. We were all comfortable in here this week. The 10.25 inch multimedia screen really does take pride of place and it's equipped with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto so you can plug in for instant access to your phone's main apps. My kids easily climbed up to their seats in the back and you can fit a third child seat across here too. I did it with two boosters and a baby capsule. I feel like I'm in my lounge room in the back seat. There is so much space between my knees and the seat in front of me that taller teenagers, other adults will feel comfortable in here on long journeys. There are four, count them, four cup holders in the back seat, two on the doors and two in the center armrest. Rear passengers also get their own air vents, which my kids always love, plus there are bottle holders in the doors. There are also three USB ports back here, so check these out on the seats and one down there. Kids won't have any problem charging devices. Into the third row, which is bigger and it's also a bit easier to get into this time thanks to the second row, which slides forward, so adults will be fine to climb in here as well. In here, you'll find your own directional air vents. Plus, there are another two USB ports, so kids back here won't have any trouble um, charging their devices. You'll get two cup holders, a little bit of storage, plus this really nifty button, which actually helps you to just get out on your own without having to get other people to let you out. And the space in the boot is huge. With all three rows in use, it is quite small. It's 187 liters, but that is still an improvement on the last model. And then when the third row is down, the boot opens up to a very large 616 liters. As always with a seven seat SUV, if you've got five kids and you're using those three rows, you will need to put luggage on the boot if you're going away. But if you've got three kids or less, everything will fit in here. Driving in the Kia Sorento is actually really nice. It's so good to get a big car that doesn't feel big to drive, so it doesn't feel heavy, the steering is quite light. I think that's a real trick to get right because driving in big cars isn't always so fun. To power it, there is a 2.2 litre four-cylinder turbo diesel engine. It's an all-wheel drive. There are petrol versions, but they are front-wheel drives. So this one is the diesel all-wheel drive. Gets up hills nice and easily, coasts along highways beautifully, and I feel really confident driving this car everywhere. 
Fuel consumption is acclaimed 6.1 litres per 100 k's. I did an average best of 9.4 litres per 100 k's this week. And parking, even though you are in a large car, is actually fine. The steering turns really accurately so you can put the car exactly where you want it to go. And there's a really good high definition reverse parking camera to help you out. As far as safety goes, it all comes standard. So you'll get airbags for driver and front passenger plus side curtain airbags that go down to the back row. They don't cover all the way down to the head of the back row though, so I'm really not sure about putting your kids in there full time, uh, but they do cover the middle row quite well. Then you've got features like auto emergency braking with pedestrian and cyclist detection, lane change assist, recross traffic alert, and adaptive cruise control. There are four Isofix points in this car and five top tether points, so you can actually fit a car seat, a children's car seat, in every back seat. I found the Kia Sorento Sport Plus to be a great family car with plenty of interior space and it felt really good to drive too. The new styling is fantastic, it's got loads of boot space and all of the advanced safety is standard. I gave it a family rating of 8.1 out of 10 and my kids gave it the same. They love having two spare seats in the back. Like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel or click through to our website.